comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. How strange is your world? On June 13th, 1966, something happened in Enigma, Ohio. Something that no one talks about. Something that led to the permanent disappearance of over 500 students and the closing of Etna High. For over 30 years, the children of Enigma have been growing up wondering what is it that their parents won't talk about. They're about to find out. <laughs> Do you know what we're looking for? No, the letter was rather vague. All it said was, the truth lies within. So there probably isn't much chance of us getting out of here before lunch. I don't. <coughs> Did you hear that? I think so. I thought you said this place was empty. Well, maybe he sent me the key. Hey! Who are you? They call me Pythaglio. Are there any other options? No, not really. How did you get in here? I thought this place was boarded up. Whoa! I'm afraid your regular teacher, Mr. Dehingle, uh, will not be here today. He was mauled viciously by a kitten. I'm here to talk about mathematics and how mathematics is knowledge and oh, hello. Well, there you are. <clears throat> I suppose you'd like to know who I am and how I got here. Yes, actually we would. Ah, well, very good. I will tell you, Emily. Chris. My name's Chris. Yes, mm -hmm, whatever. Answer of this question and the answers you seek will be revealed. Okay. <clears throat> uh, in what three ways is a quarter a portion of a dollar? I meant to do that. That's part of the trick. Let's get out of here. This guy's... This guy's... No. I think this guy knows something that might help us get to the heart of the bigger mystery. Fine. But I think this guy's a waste of time. Noted. Just, okay. Uh, since we're in the math room, I assume the problem's dealing with math? Ah, hmm, quite correct, Emily. You have hit the nail on the head with the hammer and the swinging. Math, great. We're stuck in this freaky school with this guy. Mathematically, we're looking for three ways a quarter relates to a dollar. Yes. A quarter is only a portion of a whole, so there are three ways mathematically to look at a portion of a dollar. The dollar is equal to one, it's a whole. And the quarter is only a portion of a whole. So if the dollar is one, then the quarter is 25 hundredths of a dollar. It's a decimal. Ah, that would be a one, yes. And you can say that a quarter is 25% of a dollar. A percent being a segment of 100. 25% being 25 portions of 100. Aha, and there is uh, number two. Another way to look at it is as a fraction because you're dividing 25 by 100. And that's three. Mm. And that can also be reduced to one fourth. So a quarter is one fourth of a dollar, and that's your three ways of looking at parts of a whole. Wow, very good, very good. That's quite nice. Uh, I'm afraid I'm late for bridge. Mm -hmm. Very hard. Carry on. Okay. What do fractions, decimals, and percents have to do with anything? I don't know, but uh, I think we're gonna find out. Where'd he go? I'm not sure. It's like he just disappeared. Uh, aren't all of our questions supposed to be answered now? I... Come on, I know where it's at.
So now are we supposed to know who you are? Oh boy, your dog just got the first whiff of the fox. You have got a long way to go. I told you this guy was a waste of time. All right, Carter, let's say that, uh, let's say I'm a baseball player and I get to bat 10 times, I hit seven home runs. What's my hitting percentage? 700. Well, at least that's what people would say, but a math teacher would say 700 thousands, which is 700 out of 1,000. Well, I guess that's just another way in which math teachers differ from the rest of the world. Huh. <laughs> Let's see if this gopher can dig a hole. Okay. 7 out of 10 is 0.7, which is the same as 70 out of 100 or 700 out of 1,000. Okay. Now, let's say I get to bet 20 times and I get five hits. Now, what's my average? 250 or 250 thousandths. And Chris is drawn out way of saying it. Sorry, it's only the right way. Okay. Let's say my team wins six out of the first 10 games. What's our winning percentage? 60%. See, Carter, you use this stuff in life all the time. Okay, Coach, but what's this have to do with who you are and how you got in here? Emily, I've taken 20 shots. I've missed two of them. What's my shooting percentage? Why do you keep calling me Emily? And we've seen you miss more than two shots since we've been here. Those other two shots were assists, okay? Now, what's my shooting percentage? <laughs> well, 18 out of 20 shots would be 90% but only in your dreams. Okay. Here's one for you, Emily. Chris. Right, sure. How do retailers advertise discounts during a sale? Why do you keep asking Carter sports questions and me shopping questions? Aren't you being a little sexist? Aren't you being a little feisty? Can you answer the question or not? What, are you talking about 20% off sales and stuff like that? That is absolutely correct. Nice shot. I hate this game! Follow me. <laughs>